Hi viewers, welcome to APM Master Classes. Today in this example, we will see how to record a steps using APM Inspector in Mac OS. Okay, so let's begin. So, for doing that, what we need to do here is first we need to launch an app, right, which we need to record it. Right, or I can say for which we need to record the steps. Right. So for that, I right now I have selected the inbuilt feature called settings. Right. So first I will open a settings and then start the script, or I can say start recording of the script. Fine. So for that, what I have I need to do here is let me create a one new class called settings or iOS settings right uh, okay the same name is already exists so what I need to do here what I will do here is I will do underscore right finish okay so basic capabilities let me copy it from the my old script uh, for more information, you can watch my other videos where I have uh, already mentioned all the capabilities. Fine. So let me copy the capabilities. Okay, let me copy full capabilities. Fine. Copy and here you need to do a paste. Right? Okay. So here what I'm trying to do here is I'm opening an app called settings. So what it will do is it will open a settings page in iOS device. Fine. Let's see. Okay. Start an APM server. okay so once the APM server has been started we need to execute the script okay by mistake okay it's done right so here again we need to save once the save uh, once we have done save so we need to start executing the script So let me minimize this. Here it's a script has been executing. Okay. So now device has been launching. Let's wait for some time. Okay. Okay. Fine. So now the settings page has been launched. Fine. Okay. Now from here we need to start recording. Okay. So for for that what we need to do here is we have an option called APM Inspector. Right. This is an icon. Click on this. Okay. So it will launch an APM Inspector right here. APM Inspector. Right so what we can do here is okay see here the same page whatever we have opened here the same snapshot you can see here actually okay now whatever the steps we need to execute we need to just click on this right so what here what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on privacy right okay so let me search for privacy using these options right table view and the second option right here if you see this is a privacy right what i can do here is i will click here and say tab right if i say tab what it will do here is you can see the reflection here 
whatever we used to do it manually right the same thing we are uh, we are doing using a uh, these buttons right before doing that what i need to do here is i will start recording once i will click on this record here you will see the new page where you can see all the steps right record right here the new page and i can say all the steps which we are recording you can see here actually okay and if you need a capabilities as well so you need to take this option so all the cap capabilities will be displayed here okay so now what we can do here is we already have defined all the capabilities in our script right so i don't need this fine okay so now start recording now first step is need to click on privacy right click on tab this is what we do when we do it manually right so i have clicked on privacy right now it has been launched all the options whatever the options here we we are seeing the same snapshot has been taken and display here fine so now my second step is to go and click on contacts fine okay okay here i need to click this is a contact right so again i need to click on tab right so see here okay so tab has been clicked right okay fine so now there is no other options so better i can go back right so what i need to do here is i need to click on privacy right or i can say back button so let me search for back button this is a button right so it will navigate to me or i can say if i click on this i will go back right so again click on tab right now i come back to my privacy tab privacy page right now let me record some more steps uh for that what i can do here is let me go for bluetooth sharing right go here table view and go for 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 right 1 2 3 4 5 6 right see here it is bluetooth sharing now i need to tap on this option right see here now i have clicked on tab again if you see here there is no op options to go further right so better what i can do here is i can go back to a privacy right so let me again click on privacy for that what i need to do here is go to back button now it is a back button privacy right just tab on that now i come back to this page privacy page right now again i want to go back to settings page right now i need to click on this so let me click on this by using a button option called settings right okay fine from where i have started i come back to the same page right and this is a way we can record all our scripts right okay let me copy this okay copy this script close this right close this simulator as well okay stop apm server which we don't need it right now now go to eclipse right and
paste all the steps which we have recorded right and import this using selenium right fine so what we are doing here is we have recorded all the steps captured it and now let's put some weight in each step right using thread dot sleep fine around uh, one second that's fine right so add the declaration right so let me copy this and paste it after each and every step so what will happen is you can see each and every step properly this is a just i'm adding these step to show you proper steps right so i'm just adding these steps when we execute the script it will wait for one second after each and every step right for first what i will do is i will wait for two seconds okay fine so now script is ready let's start executing it let's launch the apm server okay server has been started successfully let's start Java application. Let me minimize this because now we don't need this. Okay. Okay. Let's wait for the device to be launched. Okay. Now device has been launching. please be with me because okay now device has been launched okay now settings page has been launching okay now it has been launched now it should click on privacy you can able to see the scripts right like which whatever the steps we have recorded it all the script all the steps we are executing it right now you can see all the steps has been executed successfully right fine so this is a way you can launch and record all the scripts or i can say record all the steps which we which you need to be going to execute using xpath or using id or name whatever you need it you according to that you can execute or record the script right so i hope you like my video and if you like it please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching my video